This video is yoga for PMS. Hi, my name is Jesse, and today we're going to go over a relatively gentle yoga sequence that you can do if you are experiencing any kind of PMS symptoms today. So just to begin, we are going to find a comfortable seated position. We can sit on our mats, we can rest our hands lightly on our knees, and we can just check in with our breathing. Sitting up as tall as we can. If you're having any kind of problems with sitting up tall, please feel free to use a cushion, a yoga blanket, a small pillow, whatever it takes for you to be comfortable and just take a moment to check in with your breathing, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose, doing our ujjayi breathing, uh, yoga throat to lock. Maybe even closing the eyes, this can help you stay a little bit more present. Keeping our thoughts on our breath, and whenever any thoughts or emotions do come up, we're just going to acknowledge them and then let them go. This can be a really difficult time, so just honoring the process and remembering that sometimes if we have a lot of negative self-talk, a lot of negative chatter, that we can honor what we're thinking and just remember that sometimes the first thought isn't what counts. It's the second thought that we want to hone in on and just letting it go. Breathing comfortably and breathing naturally. Just stay with the breathing, really honoring yourself today, taking a moment of gratitude that you brought yourself to the mat in the first place. Good job, very well done. And we can start off just by doing some gentle neck rolls, bringing the chin down to the right side back and to the left side and then just make it a really fluid motion. Taking it easy on yourself today. Coming back to center and then just reverse, drop the head back, go to the right, down to the left, back and to the right. Just taking our time, honoring our bodies. Well done, coming back to center. And then we can do some seated cat-cow. So the next step that we're gonna do is we're going to double check, make sure that our hands are still on our knees. And as we exhale, we're just gonna slide the hands back towards us, let the head fall back, bring the shoulder blades together, just pop the chest open. Exhale, bring the chin to the chest, arching. the back in the opposite direction, sliding the hands back down towards the knees. Inhale, just sliding the hands back down towards the body, bringing the shoulder blades together, letting the head fall back. Exhale, dropping the chin down towards the chest, just letting the hands slide back down towards the knees, rounding the spine, bringing the shoulders forward. 
Inhale, open up. Just let the head fall back. Feel the heart center opening. Exhaling, sliding the hands back down the legs all the way to the knees, arching the back, chin to chest. And a couple more times, just taking your time, taking it easy. One last time, slide the shoulder blades together and let the head fall back. Inhale. And then on the exhale, bring the chin to chest, round the shoulders, hands come to the knees. And inhale, just sit up straight. Good job. Next, we can just do some chest circles. Bring the chest forward to the right side, back to the left side. Forward to the right, and back and to the left. I'm trying to make nice fluid circles. Just keep moving with the breath. And the next time that we come to center, we can reverse. Just go to the right, forward, to the left, and back. Just moving slowly and naturally. This is going to help with the overall energy of the body. This is part of Kundalini Yoga. This helps the abdomen feel better. One more time, coming back to center. Next, we're going to sit up tall. We're going to put our hands on our shoulders with the thumbs pointed back behind us, the fingertips towards the front. And on the exhale, we're going to turn to the right, exhaling over the shoulder, looking back behind us. <sighs> Inhaling, coming back. <sighs> Exhaling, back to the right. <sighs> Inhaling as we look over the left. Good job. Next, we can just turn so that we are lined up with the short side of the mat. First of all, stretch the right leg out, bend the left leg. On the in-breath, we're just going to lift the arms up over the head, exhale, hinge from the hips, fold forward. Just folding forward over that right leg, not worrying about reaching our toes, just Letting go, releasing into the pose on the exhale. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Just letting yourself relax and release. Slowly walk your hands back towards you. Stretch the left leg out. Bend that right leg. Line yourself up with the short side of the mat and on the in-breath, just lift the arms up over the head. Exhale, fold forward over that left leg. Just relax and release into the pose.
if your hamstrings are tight then that makes it a little more difficult to lay your body down over your left leg so just honor yourself for where you're at in the process And then when you're ready, just bring your knees under you, bring your big toes together. You can grab your bolster and use it as a prop and just go to child's pose, folding forward over that bolster, resting your arms on the ground, turning your head to the side, letting your hips sit on your heels. Just inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. And then when you're ready, just slowly walk your hands back towards you. Move the bolster off to the side. And just bring yourself to the center of the mat and lay back. The next pose that we're going to do is leg up the wall pose. And this one can be done on your mat or up against the wall and it can be so relaxing. So just bring your legs up, flex the foot by pulling the toes in towards your shin. Just feeling the low back, the shoulders and the neck relax and release. Another option, if you want it to be a little bit more relaxed, is to have your legs up the wall. Scoot the hips in as close to the wall as you can get them. Just have your arms stretched out along your sides with the fingertips slightly curled, or you can even rest your hands on your stomach. Breathing comfortably and breathing naturally. Just staying with the breath, not allowing the thoughts to wander off. And if you choose to go to the wall, just bend your legs, drop them down to the side. And if you chose to stay on your mat, you can just slowly, gently bend the legs, bringing the knees out far apart, reach out, grab your big toes. Just make your way to happy baby. If you have cramps, this can feel so good. It can really just help the abdomen just feeling the stomach relax and release with each breath. And then slowly just bring the knees into the chest, gently rocking from side to side. And then bring the soles of the feet together Allow the arms to stretch out along the sides, making your way into Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined bound angle pose. Just allowing the heels to come in pretty close to the hips and let the knees just fall open with gravity. 
Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose, filling the stomach, diaphragm, and the chest. Staying with our breath, whenever our thoughts wander off, we're going to gently but firmly bring our awareness back to our breathing over and over again. Being kind to ourselves. And whenever you're ready, just bring the knees together, roll onto your side, and push yourself up with your free hand. Just come into a comfortable seated position and taking a moment for gratitude. Being grateful for the things that we already have in our lives. Just finding the gratitude in that. And this is a really good practice to develop on a daily basis. It's a wonderful way to begin the day. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, share, hit the gear notification so that you can see future videos. And as always, may love and light be yours. Thank you so much. Namaste.